Hi, this one goes out to Device Factor who asks how to make base patches on the Juno for Italo Disco done in such a way that they are easily they are easy to replicate in other subtractive sense. And the good news is uh, the Juno 6 is one of those synths, as they say, you cannot make it sound bad. It's really good synth to to play Italo Disco with, or any other genre really. It uh, just sounds good, sounds very smooth. Uh, the bad news is uh, lots of uh, types of uh, bass patches were used for Italo Disco with and without effects over the years, so it's, it's hard to answer the question uh, in an exhaustive manner, but uh, let's analyze a few, a few examples and um, see what we can do. Okay, let's get started. Here we have the Juno 60 and also a TR-707 drum machine connected to the arpeggiator of the Juno 60. And we have a, an initialized patch on the Juno 60. Basically, it's just a sawtooth waveform and uh, the filter all open. It's... You get this. Not very exciting. To do a generic uh, synth bass that works for Italo Disco, starting with a sawtooth, we could uh, bring down the filter here and uh, let the envelope shape the filter. So bring the filter down, the frequency down, and the envelope up. And then you, uh, the Juno 60 only has one envelope, so that kind of limits you if you want to tweak both the filter and the amplifier at the same time. So we can set it we can set the amplifier to gate mode, just a switch, you know, on and off, so that um, we can uh, use the envelope to ship the filter only. And um, we wanna bring the sustain down and the decay up so that you get this little sound. Then you wanna bring the octave down Already starts sounding like a bass. Now what you can do, you can uh, bring the resonance up a little bit. Then you can play a little bit with um, the sustain and release. Perhaps more resonance. And. Um, until you find something that could work and then all you need to do really is to add some uh, chorus position 2 is good turn on the arpeggiator set it to 2 octaves turn on the drum machine and this is what you get So that is a good patch to start with for Italo that you can uh, tweak and uh, use in a variety of um, songs. But now let's take a look at a few specific songs. For instance, uh, if you wanted to kind of try to replicate the bass for P. Lion Happy Children, I would start with um, a square wave instead of a sawtooth, somewhere in the middle here. And uh, perhaps add a little bit of resonance, and you can also change the envelope uh, from gate, uh, the, the VCA envelope back to envelope instead of gate, so you can tweak a little bit of uh, the the release and um, the decay. And you just shape the sound until you find something you like. And uh, you can also add some um, sub oscillator to taste to make it beefier. 
you don't want to do too much so that uh, the sub drowns the, the square, something in the middle, so that you can hear both. And now you can set the arpeggiator to one octave instead of two octave and you get something that like the happy children song. Okay, for another type of bass, say for instance we wanted to kind of replicate the uh, Rose Magic Carry On where it's, a, it's, it's, it's not a, such a fat bass, it's more like um, a thinner bass, so we could take something like uh, the square, set it to manual, don't have any pulse width modulation, but just um, find the square so that um, it's got highs, just like this. Can sculpt it a little bit and here I put the octave in the middle and also I have the chorus one engaged and I have the envelope set to envelope and about the middle for decay and release the frequency of the filter is all the way down and the envelope of the filter is all, almost all the way up and you can also fatten this a little bit with the sub oscillator just to taste again to make it too obvious. And then you can set the arpeggiator to two octaves and you get something similar to Rose Carillon. Another example could be using the pulse width modulation to emulate perhaps uh, Valerie Dor the night. And uh, so I would start with um, with the square wave and um, set up uh, about seven percent, something like that, seven. And um, the only thing you want to turn on the pulse width modulation, assign it to the LFO here. So this is without. And this is with. Adds that modulation to this signal. And for the envelope, you can either do gate or envelope somewhere in the middle here, so that it's kind of tight. And again, the frequency down, the envelope up. And you can also add some chorus, position one. And even add some sub, very slight sub. To make it thicker. That's it, then uh, set the arpeggiator to one octave and you have something similar to the night.
Okay, I thought this was a little helpful. And again, there are so many types of basses uh, that have been used in Italo Disco over the years, especially after 84, 85, 86, when um, you know, uh, Yamaha FM synthesizers came out and also samplers were cheaper. And so all kinds of sounds have been used, not only analog, but digital as well, and full of effects as well. So I hope this is helpful. As usual, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.